On September 8, 2023, my beloved stepped into heaven. Mylon was a wise man, and he made sure we had months of shows filmed in advance in the most beautiful locations in the world, just like you're about to see. Please understand these were the messages he wanted you to hear before he crossed over. That's how important you were to him. As you receive the truth today, be encouraged by Mylon's example. He fought the good fight. He finished his race. And until his final moment on this earth, he kept the faith. He stayed on that road to freedom all the way to heaven. And now he is eternally free. Hi, my name is Mylon Lefebvre, and music is in my blood. I got my first big break when Elvis Presley recorded a song I'd written at 17 years old. I toured the world and played with some of the biggest names in music and almost died from a drug overdose. Something had to change. Everything did change when I gave my life to Jesus at a second chapter of Acts concert in 1980. Now, years later, a wife, Christy, and I traveled the globe proclaiming God's goodness. So come on and join me on the road to freedom. This is the day the Lord, Lord has, made. has made. Who? What Lord? My Lord, that's who. Yeah. And He doesn't make any bad days. Yeah. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Yeah. They're plans to They're bless prosper. you and prosper you. Yeah. They're full of hope and a future. Thank he you. doesn't make bad days. They're incredible days. Yeah. So my choice is. I'll rejoice and be glad in the day that my Lord has made for me. I believe it's a miracle. Day. It is. Today's our oh, miracle. Come day. on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, man. That's we're going to have a good time. Praise the Lord. We're going to talk to you today about the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. And by the way, let me say this to you. This is no accident that you're watching today. Mm -hmm. God knew who's watching. Yes. He, he knew what we're going to preach about and what we're going to teach about. This is a divine appointment. When you look at it that way, you believe that you can receive from God, then He'll be able to speak with your spirit. Yeah. He'll be able to be really intimate and personal with you. And that's the way He needs to be, to be your Lord and your Master. And He can, he can tell you um, how blessed He wants you to be and who He wants you to bless and who He wants you to forgive and all the things that he wants you to do, man, and they're all good. He'll give you, if you do, if you're willing to do them, mm -hmm. not just be a hearer, he'll give you his anointing. He'll yeah. put his super on your natural. That's if right. you'll just simply step out by faith and try to do everything he tells you to do. I want to thank you, Team Mylon, for just giving us the opportunity to tell these people how good God is and how much he loves them. We're partners in that, and I appreciate you guys doing your part. Uh, we're doing ours. We believe God's going to do His. Uh, remember to check out our website at mylon.org for all our free, no, just free, because you made that possible, partners. John 8.31 is our scripture that God gave us when He started our show. If you continue in my word, you'll be my disciples, and you will know the truth. If you do something bad, it, you will be set free. It will set you free and free indeed. That's right. Glory to God. I've been preaching recently on um, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Actually, I've been preaching on it my whole life. So for 25 years, I've been pray preaching about His Spirit, bearing the fruit of the Spirit and keep you being religious. That's the reason. Because in the last days, God said, There'll be a form of, some people will have a form of God in this that denies the power of God. Think about that. Now, that's, that's the perfect description of religion. Yeah. A form of godliness that denies the power. Man, you don't want to, I mean, when you need a miracle, 
You don't need a form of God. And they said, no, that's the power of God. You need the real thing. You know, I don't really care why I say that, but I met some mean Christians. And only because they just won't change. They like it in the kindergarten. They like to put the, the square block in the round hole one more time. They've tried it 45 times. <laughs> it didn't work in one time. Mm -hmm. They failed every time. But they just like that process. They don't want any harder tests than that. They don't want any physics or calculus or any, uh, you know, uh, coding. And what they won't do, though, is bear the fruit of kindness. And man, that's when you start growing up. Galatians 5, 22 and 23 says, But the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the work which His presence within us accomplishes, is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's right. Boy, I love that list. The fruit of the Holy Spirit yeah. is the work which His presence within accomplishes in us if we submit, yeah. if we submit to the Holy Spirit's leading. And so I want to give you the definition of kindness today in the Webster's 1828 Dictionary, which is based on Christian principles. It says kindness is good will. Yeah. Kindness is benevolence and that temper which delights in contributing to the happiness of others. This isn't about when we're walking in the fruit of kindness, we're not focused on ourselves. Yeah. Kindness delights in contributing to others' happiness. Yes. Yeah, and is exercised cheerfully. Now we're on attitude. You don't just do something for someone and do it begrudgingly. Because you know the God's You do it do cheerfully, it. right? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. not cheerful. That's under. That's you right. Know, we, we know better than for God. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to. Well, he likes it when we cheerfully <laughs> cheerfully it. give. So this Just says kindness way. means you're you're exercising that act of goodwill. You're doing it with a good attitude. You're doing it cheerfully in gratifying their wishes. This is someone else's wishes, supplying their wants, or alleviating their distresses. When you just make when you help to relieve stress off of people's lives, it's an act of goodwill. It's yes. any act of benevolence which promotes the happiness or welfare, again, not of yourself, but of others. So this is a focus on, on the love of God, really. Yeah. You know, love is patient and love is kind, um, yes. right? God has, you know, let me testify to you. Um, God has surrounded us with people of kindness. The people that we have here today while we're filming the show, yeah. It's Next Gen Production. It's, it's Matthew and Mary Kurth and Eli. And I'm telling you, they are kind people. They walk in the fruit of kindness. Yes, they they patiently wait for us yes, they to do. get ready for filming. They never say they do, No, nope, cheerfully. They, say, they yeah, do it cheerfully. cheerfully. And they do all kinds of things for us on these trips that help alleviate stress, that help when we start filming, that we're doing it cheerfully and happy. Yeah. They contribute to our happiness. And Every they contribute trip we go on. To the atmosphere. And the we atmosphere. all do. That's right. The atmosphere so is the chemistry true. of a team. Exactly. Yeah. Ex exactly. True. So I want you to know that's that's so important. Are you being that kindness for someone else today? That's Amen. That's Christian maturity. Yes, that yeah. is. Good. That's right. So love yeah. is patient. First Corinthians thirteen four, love is patient and kind. Yeah. True love. The love of God looks beyond itself. Kindness is intentional. This is not going to come natural to the flesh. No, no. Kindness is intentional. Your behavior in word and deed will promote the happiness of others. Now, let me ask you this question because this is how the Lord put it to me. Are people happy when you come into the room or are they happier when you leave? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that's true. That's not that's that good, to me, man. Right? Yeah. I mean, think about it. Because you didn't read that to me. That was good. I like that. <laughs> okay. But the that is the herb. fruit of kindness. When you're really yeah. walking in the fruit of kindness, people will be happy they to all, be around they you. When you walk in the room, yeah. they're going to be happy to see yeah. you, right? Yeah, because yeah. you're a contributor to their happiness, to their welfare. Amen. 
Because they know you care. You care. They, that's right. Yeah, that's you, all kindness. Amen. You, well, you, you have to, you know, God mm -hmm. said you have to reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. And that can be good or bad. It's according to that's what right. you sow. That's right. According to Proverbs 11, 17, the Amplified Classic Version, the merciful, kind, and generous man benefits himself for his deeds return to bless him. Mm, that's but it. he who is cruel and callous no. to the wants yeah. of others brings on himself a retribution. Ooh, you do Ooh. not want to have that. You, you do not want God to fix your red wagon. Believe me, <laughs> it'd be better to just let the Prince of Peace give you peace. Yeah. Man, and, and open doors for you. And, and, uh, but we reap what we sow. Yeah, it's a natural The good law. news is we That's get to right. decide what we sow. That's it. Amen. The devil can't make us sow meanness, badness, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, impatience. Right. He can't make us sow demonic uh, sarcasm and moodiness and, and all this, everything is about me. Yeah, that's good. Instead of God and you. That's good. And, uh, and so we can sow goodness. We can sow kindness. We can sow patience. We can sow love. We can sow forgiveness. Do not be deceived. God's not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that, that will also reap. Amen. The example is, if we sow kindness in our marriage, for instance, mm -hmm. we will reap loving kindness from our mate. That's the truth. Christy rides our Harley. It's mm -hmm. not her favorite thing to do growing up. Well, I'd never done it before I married you. But now you But could. I sowed when I said, yes, honey, I'll do that. You think you've been on a <laughs> And do it with miles? a good attitude. We've done lots of thousands summers. Thousands and thousands of miles. Weeks at a time. Yeah. yeah. We on really your, enjoy it. We get day. out it's about 10 o'clock in, in the morning and ride till dark, man. Yeah. In the summertime when the days are the longest. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And it's been hot. It's been freezing. We've, we've gotten hail on. on. We've snow. got snow. Hail, rain, yeah, yeah, exactly. all, all sorts of weather. But we in the middle of the desert, we've got hail on. Yeah, yeah. Hail has come down. So what I'm saying is, it's yeah. not always easy to sow kindness, right. right? This doesn't. Again, this is a choice you make. It's intentional when you choose to submit to the leading of the Holy Spirit and be kind. So, There's lots of ways yeah. to sow. You can sow money. You can sow words. One of the things we do for each other is just whatever you want. That, that's your kind. Of, I like that. Uh, Christy that's and good. her uh -huh. family always went to the mountains when she was a kid. Yeah. And she's an excellent snow skier. Well, I'm from Georgia. We don't have any snow. We don't have any mountains. We don't have any. We <laughs> ski, but we water ski. We have to have a boat. You hold on to, you know. And so I'm a really good skier, I thought. Well, mountains are different. <laughs> she said to me, if you go to the mountains and ski with me, I'll ride your motorcycle with you. I'll right. go scuba diving with you. That's right. I'll do the yeah. things that you like to do. One thing she likes to do is shop. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> so we both sew, don't we? I and we do me. it cheerfully, cheerfully. Guys, if you're the only one <laughs> in the bra department, I have a hundred women. You're sewing. Believe me. <laughs> you're sewing. You, you, <clears throat> anyway, good thing. God will do good things if you just be patient yeah. and kind. Amen. First Thessalonians 5, 15 in the Amplified says, See that none of you repays the evil with evil, but always aim to show kindness and seek to do good to one another and to everybody involved. Wow, that's good. Kindness doesn't play favorites. Being kind only to those who they think will help them get ahead or can do something for them, that's what the world does. That's what unkind people do. When we walk in the fruit of the spirit of kindness, we're kind to everybody. Isn't that good? That is so I mean, true. the fruit of kindness means, um, I really like that. It says, seek to do good and show kindness to everybody. Yeah. Everyone you come in contact with. So if you're truly kind, you're you're being kind to the waitress. You're being kind to the janitor. You're being kind to yeah. not just the owner of the company, not just to the person in authority. You're being kind to everyone you come in contact with. Even That's truly the jerk. kindness. Yes, even the exactly. religious jerk. Yes. Who has just done something and said something 
that you know is in the Bible that they shouldn't do. Yes. So you're kind to them anyway. Right. And you just knock the dust off your feet and go into the next one. Mm -hmm. Act like it didn't happen. That's merciful and kind. Yes, that's right. Everybody wants to be loved. I don't know about you, but I need to be loved. Everybody does. Everybody's looking for love. Yeah. And that's what this TV show is all about. Yes. Nobody's going to change their life mm -hmm. unless they really get the revelation that God truly loves them. That's right. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in Him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. Amen. So you can help us share the love of Jesus around the world by joining Team Milan. And you just go to Milan.org and click on Team Milan today. So Proverbs 3, 3 through 4. Now, the reason why we give you, again, so many scriptures, you may have heard me say this before, is we don't want your faith to be founded on our opinion. No. Because no, our opinions not. are not going to change your life. Mm -mm. Only the truth will, the truth of God's word. So we give you scripture to back up what we're saying because that's where your faith needs to be grounded, our, in the word of God. Our opinions mm -hmm. got us in a lot of trouble. Right. Or at least mine did. Mm -hmm. And we had to get God's word. We had to change. We had to change. What we're telling yeah. you, yeah. We're, we don't tell you anything we're not willing to do. Yeah, amen. I mean, Christianity is not, it's showing people how to live. It's not telling them how to live. Amen. That's religion. Christianity is, this is the way God said to do it. And when I did this, look what he did. Look what Man, he did. He's so uh -huh, that's it. Uh, you know, now what you just said is so good. Christianity is when I did things his way, look what he did. Yeah. We don't take any credit for it. No, right? no, never. This is so important because he gets all the glory. The hardest part of the process is making the decision, making the choice, saying, yes, Lord. But once we've made that decision, yes, Lord, I'm going to obey. I'm going to choose to bear the fruit of kindness. Then here's what God does. His grace shows up. Yeah so that you can do to enable you to do what you could not do before. Because you can do all things through Christ, the anointed one and his anointing, which strengthens you. Come on. So you really can be kind to everybody. Yes, but you he can. won't make the choice for you. He won't hold your tongue no. for you. No, he won't. Right? No, he used to pray about it. Right. He won't make you be kind. He won't make he you won't be kind. He will allow you. Yeah. But you choose this yeah, day. That's you right. choose obedience and trust. Or you choose the curse, which is, the blessing is a trust and obey. Yeah. And if you do that, you'll get the blessing. That's the yeah. way you choose it. But if you ignore God and you ignore his word and you hear it, but you refuse to do it because you like to just get into your flesh yeah. and never grow up. And you're in kindergarten and, and you've been safe for 40 years and your temper is just as bad as it was four years ago. Right. That's not right. People. Mm -mm. I mean, the, we, the old, we yeah. owe God. Uh, to pay attention, yes, and to be and to do for others. I mean, he forgave me. I'm a, I was such a selfish. I'm a new Christian now. I'm yeah. not the same guy. Amen. But before I got born again, I was a selfish, self-centered, uh, arrogant fool. I mean, just a liar, a manipulator, um, an adulterer, just a, not somebody you would want to be uh, hanging out with. And when God forgave me, he let me start over. And I didn't have to start over, but I wanted to. I don't want that world anymore. I don't want that life anymore. I don't want that lifestyle. I don't want to hang around with those kind of people. Yeah. I want to hang around with no, ones that are changing. No, you need to hang out with people who are endeavoring to, to walk in kindness just exactly. like you are, right? It's hard yeah. enough when you, when you hang around with people that really want to change. Mm-hmm. But Bad we, company corrupts good morals. Exactly. That's what Proverbs exactly. says, right? So Proverbs 3, 3 through 4 says, Never let 
loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then, here's the reward, then you will find favor with both God and man, and you will earn a good reputation. Yes, you will. So I have to testify to you, when I was in business, um, I was an interior designer in Dallas. You may have already heard this testimony, so I will keep it quick. But the Lord showed me this verse when I was in business and instructed me, if you will always be kind, be loyal to your employers, yeah. be kind to your peers, be kind to your clients, then I will give you favor with man. And my business, when I began endeavoring, did I do it perfectly? No. But as I began in, thank God for his mercy, right? Yeah. Thank we'll God for his over grace. And over and over right. And over. We're completely dependent upon it. And, um, but the choice we make that he will not make it for us is we choose to be kind. So as I endeavor to do that every day, my business, he just brought me client after client after client. He brought me the best clients yeah. and gave Rich. me favor. Uh -huh. yeah. And my business just exploded so much that my employers came to me and said, in the history of our company, we have never had anyone do yeah. this well, this quick, yeah. especially at this young age. What are you doing? My college, my secular university came to me and said, in the history of our department, um, we've never had a student do this well, this quick. Will you come back and talk to our students and tell them what you did to become successful? So you know, you know what I did is I, I went and you I told them about right. this scripture, right? <laughs> I, I was able, God gave me a platform to give him glory. Yeah. That's what his promotion and favor is all about. It's for his glory so that you testify of his goodness in the earth. And I was able to testify to my employers, to my, at my university. And it was just such a, a wonderful lesson for me that I never forgot. He let me know, Christy, when you do things my way, I'll bless you. Yeah. And I'll bless you exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask, think, dream, or imagine. You don't have to um, be driven to get my favor. If you'll make kind choices, I'll give you supernatural favor with man. Right? Is it really that simple? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. It really if is. you'll be simply just a reflection of my love in the earth, I'll bless you with so much favor that people will come to you and say, what are you doing? Right? How are you getting? We went to school with you. We know you. We know you. You're not smart enough to get <laughs> all right. make all that money. That's but it. But when you that's it. When you do the when you the do spirit of God, way. when yes. you do things the spirit way yes. instead of the flesh way, yes, good things happen. Amen. You don't only get a good client, but then they tell their other wealthy friends. Yes. And now they become a good yeah, client. Yeah, that's it. And it, it's, it snowballs. it's snowballs. It's, it's momentum. It yes. gains the blessing of the Lord gains momentum. Yes, yeah, it that's does. It. Oh, it is. That's so good. In Psalm four three, it says, "But know that the Lord has set apart for Himself and given distinction to Him who is godly." Now, what is the definition of Him who is godly? The man of loving kindness. Wow, and the Lord listens. And heeds to that man when he calls to him. Wow, now we're talking about our prayers getting answered. Mm. Kindness equals answered prayers. Again, this is phenomenal. We have minimized the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And God is ready to overtake us with his blessing if we'll simply choose to be kind. Yes. The fruit, to bear the fruit of kindness. In Psalm 23, 6, it says, Surely goodness, mercy, and loving kindness shall follow me all the days of my life, and I, I will, will dwell, dwell in, in the house, house of, of the Lord, Lord forever. forever. Now, I've heard you quote that our whole marriage. Oh, yeah. And praise God, He has done that for us, and He's doing it for you today. God has got your back. Yes, He He's does. got you covered with His goodness, oh. His mercy, and yes. His loving kindness. So let's choose to honor Him and bear his fruit. Amen. Can I lead him in confession, yes, my love? Mm -hmm. Say this with me, please. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. 
And therefore I led the fruit of kindness. Therefore I let the fruit of kindness. Have its perfect work in my heart. Have its perfect work in my heart. That I may be a blessing. That I may be a blessing. And promote the happiness of others. And promote the happiness of others. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. For the glory and honor of my Father. For the glory and honor of my, my Father. My Heavenly Father. My Heavenly Father. The Father of my Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of my Lord Jesus Christ. And His Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. That and lives His in Holy me. Spirit that lives in me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now listen, man, how exciting. What is God going to do next? What can, what will you praise Him for? Have you told any of your friends any of the things He's done in your life? Yeah. All that means is you're willing to testify and you're willing to give Him the glory that He deserves. You don't want to tell everybody I worked hard and I'm mm. I'm a, a, a genius and I did this and right, I did right. that. That's, That's it. all about me. But yeah. if, if Jesus is Lord yeah. of your life, Thank if you. your life is ready to be, you give your life to Jesus, it's not yours anymore. Amen. I gave him my life. Yeah. And by the way, he was the only one that wanted it. Mm. Man, it was a time in my life when I was sick of it. Yeah. And I told him, God, you don't want me? I, I don't need it. I would pull the trigger, I'm done. I I can't stand this any longer, man. I came to Jesus, man, I gave him my life. I don't want him back. I don't want that junk back. I want to yeah. be like him. Yes. He's kind. He's been faithful to my yeah. life. Yes, yes, yes. All my life. All my been life. Faithful. Oh, yes. That's good. So check out our podcast. Check out Church on the Run. It's a daily devotion that's free, like everything else. And I don't want you to miss our book on marriage. We mentioned marriage today and we told how we sow towards each other's joy. And we explain all of that sowing and reaping in marriage in particular in our new book called The Honeymoon is Over, Now What? So check that out on our website. It's available there and on Amazon. These are all ways for you to stay in the Word because that will keep you on, on the, the road, road to, to freedom. freedom. The honeymoon is over, now what? God has a divine design for you and your spouse to have heaven on earth in your marriage. In this handbook for holy matrimony, Mylon and Christy each share their own perspectives on how God taught them to have a strong, romance-filled marriage. With confessions and positive habit-forming tools, this book will teach you how to resume the honeymoon in your marriage. Listen to what Kenneth Copeland had to say. I wholeheartedly endorse this book because I wholeheartedly know, trust, and endorse the ministry of Mylon and Christy Lefebvre. To get your copy of The Honeymoon Is Over, Now What? Visit mylon.org today.